Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sierra for those of you who are new. Today is day, uh, it is already the 10th. So today is day 10 of Vlogmas. It is also my oldest nephew's birthday. Not my oldest, but one of the oldest nephews. He turned 19 today and I just want to say happy birthday, Cyrus. I love you, super proud of you, super proud of who you've become, and I'm always here for you, you know that. Um, so today, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, and I had to be at work at 6.30, which I did, and <clears throat> I've been up since it is 9.51 right now, so I got home at about 3, maybe 4, um, just started spending some time with the Maya, and then I started cleaning, I started decluttering, um, so I am so excited to show y'all the office. Okay, first we're going to walk in. The couch is cleaned off. It is cleaned off, guys. Trash can is empty. We have a very, very clean desk. My desk has not been cleaned um probably two three months so i'm not gonna lie to you um i got some little christmas decorations for you my christmas candle and my hundred envelopes challenge as well as my cricut we're gonna go ahead and go into the drawers now my drawers were very 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 crammed because i do couponing amazoning amazoning amazon budgeting all that kind of stuff youtube so i wanted to make sure that the first two drawers were very 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 um empty <coughs> that way i don't get overwhelmed so all we have is a lighter and then my um phone holder empty thank god third drawer we have my budgeting thing so this is the prop money that i film with some budgeting sheets this actually has to go somewhere else um and then i have my label papers for amazon fba um those are both label paper um, for the upc and for like the labels itself uh this is also my paper cutter then we have some poly bags different sizes in the back this is my thermal printer some measuring tape and the cord that goes to the thermal printer i use the measuring tape to measure the boxes and then these are the labels so, um something that i might have drew from you as well the labels for the thermal printer and then these i got off of amazon these are for the sets that you have so if you have a two-pack game or if you have two games that you made into a bundle for example candy man is candy man even a game i think so and monopoly you want to put this on there that way the fba um workers know not to separate the bags i do have these linked below i should have this link below i'll double check um and i should have all this link below as well then we have some folders and some journals in the back. They are blank. And we have the Gugan. Gugan is for the sticky part on the price tag. Some cords. I also have my scale. That scale is amazing. I believe it was $34. And what's cool about this is this is a, um, like a, I guess like a tag gun. This velvet stuff kind of grosses me out. Um, but y'all do know that sometimes the price tags come off. So I went ahead and bought this just in case it does come off. You can just put it back on. Peep the shoes. Got them at Ross. And this is a... Is it called a spoolie? I think it's called a spoolie, but you basically like use it to get the tag off from Ross. Never, ever, ever keep the tag on. And I learned yesterday in my video that I shouldn't have did FBM with the wine bottles. I'm so sorry, guys. I will definitely never do that again. 
and that is why I love this community because y'all are here to help me. So we have the Bible. I know um, some people might not be religious, but I did grow up in a Catholic household. So I've never read the Bible before because I've never been a good reader or and now I'm working on it. So the words used to kind of not make sense to me. So I'm going to give it a try again. I have my daily devotional book, have some writing books, and then I have this Bible study book. What the Bible study book does is it basically reads with you through the Bible. That way it'll ask you questions so it can help you study and actually understand what you're reading. So I like that. And it has two parts. They are very, very thick. But I do plan on using this every single day in 2021, all three of these things. So I want to start now. That way, when 2021 comes, I'm not freaking out. Oh, 2022. I'm sorry. Dang, 2021 feels like it didn't even happen. But y'all know what I mean. I have a couple of tablets. And this is my vinyl for my Cricut. When I make all of my budgeting things, I have my thermal printer, some cardstock paper, and this is a little bit of junk, but I have all of my sticky notes white out, and then that is where I keep and categorize my receipts for Amazon FBA and a little journal. Some colored paper, my husband's workstation, we got the printer, whole bunch of junk, don't even ask what's in there, junk whole bunch of books that I do plan on reading. I have read one of them so far and this is the one I read. A giraffe that my grandpa got me. Not my grandpa, my uncle got me when I was younger. Amaya's uh, workstation. She's got all her arts and crafts and shout out to my friend that made that. I actually met her through here. I will leave her information below and my crazy obsession with shoes. Fun fact, I haven't even bought a pair since COVID. This is all the shoes that my dad and I have bought. And y'all know this was looking funky. Had a whole bunch of makeup. I got rid of all of it, consolidated it into one. Thank God. I was throwing away $100 worth of makeup because it was just so old and it was sitting there. So lesson learned. We got the coupon binder, some shipping tape, and some orders that I have to send out. We got some printing paper and some packaging supplies. Oh, timber. Those are gifts from my dad that he's got me on all of my birthdays. His pool trophy. Oh, and my family so that is it guys it looks so clean i'm so excited i'm so happy it took me a while to clean up y'all know depression hit me hard but i feel like i'm ready i feel like i can come back a hundred times better and y'all saw all that amazon packages that i have to ship out or at least see if it has any more profits so i'm really excited i'm really happy i'm sorry i still sound really really sick i feel like shit um, but I hope y'all have a great day and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.